Today we're going to show you how to rebuild a 1965 Mustang single bowl master cylinder. It's a single bowl master cylinder meaning that there's only one reservoir for the brake fluid to sit and it has one brake fitting at the front to supply brake fluid to both the front and rear brake components. To complete this job you're going to need a couple specialty tools not normally found in the toolbox. You need a set of snap ring pliers as well as a honing tool. Disassembly on this master cylinder is pretty simple. I just use a screwdriver, insert it where the push rod goes, and kind of get some leverage and wiggle it out. What that does is it helps break the rust seal that's formed on the inside of the bore to release those seals. The spring on the inside wasn't very springy anymore as the seals have all kind of gummed up on the inside of the master cylinder. So I'm just going to use a pick to pry everything away and then once I have it all disassembled I'll go ahead and start cleaning it out. Now you want to have a pick and you may also want to remove that front brake fitting at the very front and that little adapter you'll have to remove so that you can properly clean the master cylinder out from the front and from the rear. Sometimes a little debris will get in there which will give you some havoc later on down the line. So just use some brake fluid and go ahead and start cleaning it out. It's also going to be important for you to have some honing grease. As you can see here, we have a bunch of debris from that inside of the master cylinder. It was pretty gunked up. So now I'm going to go ahead and just remove that fitting I was talking about from the front. And this is going to allow me to remove the final seal that I haven't been able to remove yet, as well as start the honing process. So to use the hone, you just hook it up to a drill. I go at a fairly low speed and I continuously lubricate with a honing oil. You can use mineral oil or pretty much any other thing that uh, will wick away the rust components that are going to be holding up inside. And after you've finished honing and cleaning, you're going to be ready to start reassembly. Quickly how this goes back together, what you're going to do is you're going to have this seal here and it is going to go onto this side of the spring. The other side of the spring will have a hard piece and that hard piece is going to go on the second seal of the assembly, which is this piece here. Now this seal is supposed to have this metal ring on it. If that pops off, that's just because it's old, but this is the old unit so we're not worried about it. Then you're going to see this cylinder here which will press up against this seal here and those metal pieces keep it from folding and then it fits into this spring assembly here. So this is all you have to do. This is the order that you have to put everything in in order to get everything to go on. And it goes on just like that. So the cupping, the cupping of the seals, like this cup that you see right here, this cupping is going to go towards the fitting that goes to the brake line. So if the back of the car is this way where your brake pedal is and the front of the car where the headlights are is this way where your brake lines go, this is the way you're going to put on your your all your seals and it goes on just like this first seal the spring second seal that little washer this big cylinder which is what the push rod pushes on and that seal should already be assembled so before you put it back in the car you're going to want to go ahead and do a bench bleed and the easiest way to do it for me is just to depress the master cylinder and then release it very slowly this gives the brake fluid an opportunity to drain down from the reservoir into the bore of the master cylinder and then you just continuously push it. And once you've got it reasonably bled, you can go ahead and start installing it back on the car. If you're having difficulty doing it this way, you can hook up a set of hoses into that front fitting where the brake lines go and then have that loop back in to the master cylinder reservoir. That way you don't lose any fluid. The other thing you can do is use a specialty tool which is just a large syringe and with that syringe you can just go ahead and fill up the master cylinder, fill up the syringe and then force brake fluid through the drain fill of the master cylinder. There's a small hole at the uh, bottom of that reservoir that goes into the bore of the master cylinder and that's where you're going to press down with that syringe and allow and you're going to force brake fluid into that bore. And just a couple notes on the importance of honing your master cylinder before you put new seals on it. It's really important and that's because the seals need a very smooth surface to glide upon and if they have any sort of burrs or nicks or rust or any rough patches at all it's going to cause those seals to fail prematurely. 
So your best chance to prolong the life of your master cylinder is just to go ahead, head to the parts store, pick up a $20 honing tool, and use your drill to just clean the inside of that master cylinder to give those seals the best chance they have. And it also will improve your braking performance because if you have good quality sealing around those master cylinder seals, you're going to have maximum brake pressure. Thanks for watching this video on our 1965 Mustang Single Bowl Master Cylinder Rebuild. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.